cutie. Could I help you? Yeah, is Chief Hoover around? Well, he sure is. Hey, you must be Louis Hawkins. That's me. Well, glad to see you made it here. All right, come with me. All right. Louis Hawkins, sir. Pleased to meet you. Same here, kid. So how was the trip? Uh, it wasn't bad. Kind of relaxing, actually. Good. I don't mean to cut you short, Louis, but I have a court case that I've got to get to. I guess we'll swear you in tomorrow morning. Okay. Oh, before I forget, your apartment's all ready to go. We'll see you in the morning, kid. Tracy! Yeah, Chief? Would you show Louis where his uniforms are and introduce from the other guys? I'd be glad to. Louis, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks again, sir. Yeah, yeah. Twelve pack of beer, one missing. Right. Same old story. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Hello. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to meet Louis Hawkins. He's the new guy on the board. Dennis Smith. Where's Pete? He went out back or something. Come on, let's go. All right. Don't pay any attention to Rick. Let's go grab your uniform. So, you came all the way from Chicago, huh? Yep. Wow. So, why here? I don't know. Big city life isn't all it's cracked up to be. Well, here your uniform. Thank you. You'll get your badge and gun tomorrow morning. You better get out of here and get some rest. All right. You have a good night. Thanks again for all your help. Tracy? Tracy Budnick. Thanks again, Tracy. Well, there you go, sir. You're all set. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. No job for a lady. Oh boy, I can't thank you enough. It's rough and old, you know. I can only imagine. No, I really appreciate it. We need more young people like you in the world. Your parents must be real proud of you. Oh, I'm sure they are. Fifty-two seventy-three. Fifty-two seventy-three control. We have a vagrant running around on Main Street. Copy. Ma'am, I gotta get going. Do you need help getting inside? No, I think I can manage. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Well, gentlemen, I'm out of here. Did Lewis get in yet? No. Uh-uh. He's probably still out there trying to make the world a better place. You should try it sometime. It'll do you some good. You'd be surprised. Spare me. Where's Tracy? She isn't back yet either. Yeah. Her and Lewis are probably out together. You just leave Lewis alone. Do you understand me? Yeah, Rick. You gotta take it easy on him. Oh, shut up. Good night, gentlemen. 
he's so hard on us? Because he makes us all look bad. He's just trying to do his job, you know. Oh, like I'm not doing mine? What do you want here? Get out of here. We don't want your kind here. This is a clean town. What are you bothering me for? What's you go in another town and bother someone else, you homeless piece of garbage? Don't want your kind here. No. Don't need you here. Leave. No. I don't care. No. No, I ain't got nothing for you. Get out of here. No, you just cause me problems. Go away. Don't want you around. Go. Don't care. Get out of here. That's right, officer. Rest this stupid son of a bitch. Excuse me? That's right, kid. You heard me. Do your job. Why don't you do yourself a favor? What's that? Shut up and get on out of here. Okay. All right, you, I'm going to ask you some questions. Come here. What was that all about? Nothing. I was just trying to get some food and be on my way. Where are you headed? K Kentucky. <sighs> Whoa, man. It's a long way from here. Well, uh, what are you hungry for? Hot dogs. Hot dogs? Tell you what, I'll give you a ride down to the truck stop, get you some hot dogs, and see if we can't find you a ride. I sure appreciate it. Uh, hey, Tracy, what's up? Not much, just finishing up. Same here. How'd your day go? Uh, real busy. How was yours? Mm -hmm, about the same. Yeah. That's a chip. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. man. Pete. Nice job. Oh, hey, Tracy. How was your day? Oh, man, it's too fucking busy. Too fucking busy or too busy fucking? That's what I want to know. Excuse me? What the hell did you just say? What? You don't clean your ears? Son of a bitch. Got some paperwork. What happened? Rick and I had a little problem. Rick, in my office now. Stick around, Lewis. You're next. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm fine. Didn't have to do that, you know. He didn't have to say that. He doesn't have the right to talk to anybody like that. Cheer up. The chief will take it easy on you. He likes you a lot, you know. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. It happened. I don't mean to change the subject, but would you like to go out to dinner tomorrow evening? Sure. I would like to. Hey, do-gooder, this yours? Thought so. Just us two. Right. 
really glad you were able to come out tonight, Tracy. Me too. Have you been here before? Mm -mm. No, the chief just told me about it. I'm going to run to the restroom. If the waitress comes over, you order me a soda? Thank you. Tracy? Brad? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you since we've graduated. How have you been? Good, good. Hey, me, Bo, Duke, and Missy are going out to Ekman's farm. I can't believe you guys still hang out together. You want to go? No, I can't. Are you sure? I can't, really. Ah, uh, come on. Just this once. For old time's sake. Ugh. All right. Hang on. I'll be right back. to old friend from high school. I really have to go. I'm so sorry, Lord. You do realize this is the third time I've pulled you over for speeding in the last month, though, right? I need you to watch that speed. Well, let's not let it happen again, all right? Drive safely. Hi. Look, I'm sorry about the other night. I don't care. Well, you should, you know. Why? Because you're a good guy, Lewis. You just had some bad luck. It's time for a change. I've been thinking. Thinking about what? About you and I, Lewis. Look. The other night, Brad was an old high school sweetheart. And I realized he was still a jerk. So what you're saying is you want us to be together? Yes. Louis, I really like you. And I want to be with you, if that's all right. OK, but just promise me one thing. Yeah. Don't ever do to me what you did at the restaurant. I promise. So what about dinner and a movie tonight? 
Sure. I'll pick you up at eight. Sounds good. See you later? Yeah. Give me a pack of Marlboro in the box. Anything else? Might as well empty the register for me too, kid. Come on, man. I don't want to have to kill you. Just give me the goddamn money. What the hell are you, retarded? Did you forget your helmet at home? Is that the problem, huh? Well, have it your way, kid. He wouldn't give me the money. You didn't have to do it to that kid. Shut the hell up, you know? Where the hell else are we supposed to get money from? Get a job! Me get a job? Why don't you get a job? Because I'm pregnant! Because I'm pregnant. Like, that's my fault, you slut! What's that supposed to mean? What do you think that's supposed to mean? You know, if I had a blowjob for every guy that you fucked, I might just be in a better mood right now, all right? Stop the car! Let me out! You want on? I'll let your ass out. Stand up! Stand up, goddammit! You know how to kill you, you bitch! Now look what you did! Get up! Get in the car! 5273 control. I have a domestic in progress at the end of Broadway. Request backup. I'll let the kid handle it. I'll drop you off at home and then I'll go back and check up on him. Thanks, Rick. All right, that's enough. Ma'am, stay right there. Sir? I have shots fired. Where the hell's my backup? Looks like we're going for a ride. Put the gun down and let the girl go. Oh yeah, I see that happening. What about you? See that happening? You know what? I'm gonna take 
it's gonna happen. It doesn't have to be like this. Oh, sure. It's easy for you to say. You're the good guy. Let me go! Well, shut up! Put the gun down! You pathetic piece of shit, get out from behind that car! strength I need to tell you how I feel that you're the one I need we walk through the night and talk through the street and told me the truth that I'm not the one broken dreams and 